Hi, I'm Emily Rose. And I'm Dan Philgreen. Welcome to Shell Point Today for Thursday, June 14th. For today's programming, we catch up with acclaimed author Robert Maycumber, who will give us a preview of his upcoming writer's workshop. So to think that with your experience and you know, all your honors, including the honor series, that you would come and spend some hours with us so that we could learn to organize our writing and give us some tips. It's, it's I, as I said before, it's a great pleasure for me to come here. We take a nostalgic journey as we relive some memories of Captiva. This is a living tribute to the people of Captiva Island and the surrounding area too. And we, um, we, we have the great opportunity to be able for our documentary series to be able to interview some of the old timers. And we venture back into David Lee's kitchen for another delicious culinary capers recipe. But today I'm gonna to show you uh, my own kind of take on Una tapenade. Before we dive into these features, let's take a patriotic look back on this day in history. It was June 14th, 1777, when in the midst of the Revolutionary War, the Continental Congress adopted the Stars and Stripes as the official flag of the United States of America. They concluded that the flag will feature 13 alternate red and white stripes and 13 white stars and a circle set in a blue field. The flag was based upon the Grand Union banner carried by the Continental Army. It's still disputed if George Washington actually commissioned Betsy Ross to stitch the first flag together, but the legend remains. And every June 14th, we observe this symbol of American pride as we celebrate Flag Day. That's right, and we do it right here at Shell we Point, do. up at the Circle. Uh -huh. If any resident wants to go and look at all the flags displayed around there, it's All the pretty, examples, it's where, where we got our flag. That's right. Happening today is the optical presentation from Dr. Trevor Elmquist. At 2 p.m. in the Grand Cypress Room, he will discuss the three most common eye diseases that seniors experience as they age. He will also discuss them in detail and explain the causes, symptoms, and treatments offered. It's a splendid discussion that should be attended by anyone dealing with or knowing anyone who deals with vision ailments. Tomorrow, make sure you stop by Center Court at the Woodlands for the Friday Marketplace. Remember, there's been a change of location due to renovations being done at the Crystal Dining Room. All your favorite vendors will still be available. You can get all the fresh produce, homemade baked goods, handmade items, and even straight from the Gulf seafood. The times are still the same, so head over to Center Court between 8.30 and 11.30 and enjoy all the familiar faces of the Friday Marketplace in a new serene location. Also tomorrow is the Royal Tea Outing at the Wisteria Tea Room. This Fort Myers establishment offers all the class and regality of a British tea room with a unique southern flair. The excursion includes an afternoon tea arrangement with sandwiches, scones, pastries, Devonshire cream, and of course an endless supply of perfectly brewed tea. You might also want to indulge in one of their decadent homemade desserts. If you signed up for this classy luncheon, court pickups begin at 10 a.m. on the island. This Friday is another opportunity to strengthen your memory with Brain Boosters. At 1 p.m. in the Social Center, join Cape Coral Hospital Wellness Coordinator Sarah Mitchell as she challenges participants with unique problem-solving exercises. She will share strategies for improving memory, processing speed, all the while moving at the same time. Exercising the mind is vital to maintaining your overall health, so make sure you drop by tomorrow to give your brain the boost it needs. We wanted to let everyone know about a special Academy on the Go trip to not one, but three educational attractions. Sign up today for the chance to explore the South Florida Museum in Bradenton. Besides the Historical Museum, you will also be able to visit the Bishop Planetarium and Parker Manatee Aquarium. The best part, it's all under one roof. For $32, you'll get a one hour guided tour and your choice of a movie or planetarium talk there will also be time for a fantastic lunch at Pier 22. It's a full day of exploring the history, nature, and culture of South Florida. If you want to join this amazing adventure, you can sign up at shellpoint.net and click on the Academy link. If there's one person who knows the history of South Florida inside and out, it's acclaimed author Robert Maycomber. And you have the opportunity to pick his brain as part of a writer's workshop he will be hosting later this month. Here he is with Terry Kolath for a sneak peek at his program.